So welcome to Drawboard PDF. Let's open up Drawboard. We're going to look at the Pro level today and what Drawboard PDF Pro can do for us. When we open up our Recents page, uh, we can see the uh, documents we've looked at before, but uh, we're going to open our first tab and we're greeted by this Pro level asset of Document Builder. So we're going to choose a document from our files Go and find the document that we particularly want. It's in our uh, document file. Click on that and uh, we'll find this header page. Um, letter to the builder. Um, open it. And uh, it appears in our file just that easily. So what we want to do is add another document. So right here we click add another document. Takes us back to our files again and we're able to add whatever we want. So we have this report and uh, we can add it to it. And uh, that report will take a couple of seconds to load. It's got 24 pages, there they are. And uh, also we can uh, change the scale of this so that uh, we can actually see all the pages in one shot on the page and then we can work with them. I'll show you what we can do. We can actually uh, take a page. So we wanna move page 23 out move it across, move it across that easy. Um, just to show you that in the bright green, page two to the end of the file now, so we can resort them very easily. The other thing we could do is uh, we can thumbnail through those and have a look at the various pages so we could move anything we want anywhere. Just to show you something else we can do, just remove a page, that simple. And uh, then we can, um, perhaps we'll get rid of this one up here too, we'll delete that, we don't need to page one, so now we've got the original letter and we just put that page two back up to the top again so it's in the right place. Now what we do get to do is save that and give that document a new name. So we'll type in the name of this document. We're gonna write just something basic, new file for the demo and uh, we save that. And then this will construct a new PDF document for us. So now when we go back to uh, Drawboard, here's this document open for us and we can have a look at it. We'll look at the various pages of it and uh, we can then uh, do what we need to do with the rest of that document. Okay, so the next item we'd like to look at in Drawboard PDF Pro is uh, we'll open a plan up so that we can use the protractor. So if we just open a plan, um, have a look at the various pages of this one. We roll through them in a second. And uh, today we're going to uh, use a surface dial as well. And uh, that gets gives us control of the protractor. And uh, it'll click on, I'll just click it on and there it is. And if we uh, scroll through, the, go to scroll, we can scroll down the pages. So I've got the mouse in my uh, right hand and surface dial on the left hand. And uh, what we're going to do is just measure this little piece of roof here. And uh, to do so, we'll pick the protractor up and put it onto the job. So what is available to us when we have both the protractor and the, uh, the surface dial and the mouse, we can actually uh, use this surface dial to control the protractor and set the angle on it and then move the position of that protractor with the mouse. The combination of it make it a great tool to be able to use and uh, it should be about 30 degrees so there it is there. Yep. So I just thought another little tip is that you can actually pick up a pen, you can use the mouse or pen if you have a Surface Pro like I do and uh, put those angles there, mark them on so if you want to mark an angle on the plan it just follows the line, you don't have to hold any other key down, it just picks up where it's supposed to be. Let's get rid of those. And uh, the next item I want to show you is in the surface radial. So if you click on the radial and uh, we go to insert, then insert, we see you've got this little P again. So now we can actually measure and put measurements on a drawing. So first we have to calibrate a drawing. So pick up the calibrate tool and to calibrate a drawing, we need to measure between two known points across a drawing like that and it'll come up and give the measurement. It's just a matter of clicking in the right measurement there 
and then when we use the uh, lineal tool we can draw a line and uh, once again we'll just pick up you know, probably the big ones better because for two known points it's bigger so we'll have a look at that running across the page and uh, you know that's fairly accurate that's pretty pretty good so now we get to be able to show you how to uh, use that in a rectangle it's a little bit thick so I might change it down a bit and we'll add that a box to the uh, drawing just in the middle here and uh, as you can see there it calculates the area of the drawing so if you were perhaps doing a roof area like that pretty simple there's our roof area already done okay so what about uh, polygons yeah so that's a great tool to be able to use click on a spot and uh, click on a dot you can put as many dots as you like finish back within the circle and it closes out now you've got the little control points on that you can move it around and as a control point straightens up you can see the measurement in the center there is uh, fairly accurate in changing to the size of that square well, that's a very very useful tool the last item I'd like to show you today is in our um, to do with uh, adding lines to a page so if we just open a blank document we can uh, go into our tab views tabs here and uh, at the top we can see it's got none but we can actually add lines to a, a sheet of paper so we can add lines to over the top of a plan that's uh, Greg Rule line down the center uh, the graph paper and the isometrics down here or triangles and uh, even just uh, plain note paper with a red line down the side that we quite often use okay so that uh, we'll go back to none and leave it without any so that uh, covers basically the uh, all the options that are available to us uh, just one little other shortcut I'd like to show you is if you go to little help cog down the bottom there's all our shortcuts for our shift keys um, so shortcuts are very useful a lot of people like to use them and uh, that concludes our uh, exercise today in the drawboard pdf pro hope you found that interesting please contact me at beast consultants